knee surgery but it is last 16 action here today in Welva. Seven matches complete and 12 matches in total. Up next is women's doubles and it features number 10 seeds Lee Wen Mei and Chang Yu up against Rin Iwanaga and Sakia Nakanishi of Japan. As far as the women's doubles draw is concerned, uh, this is a match from the top second section of the bottom half. Uh, we can see that the number two seeds, Li So He and Chin Siang Chan, who won a bronze medal seven years ago at the World Championships, they're already safely through to the quarterfinals. So is Kiri Harakun and Parajong Jai, the number six seeds from Thailand. So here come the players for our next match, this women's doubles. Japanese pair against the Chinese number 10 seeds. And this will actually be a first meeting between these two pairs, never met each other previously. So I believe that the Chinese pair won the toss and they have chosen to serve. Absolutely correct. That's how I got it as well. Yeah, good. We're aligned on that. <laughs> that's, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> it is. So the Chinese combination, the number 10 seeds, are making their second appearance at the World Championships as a pair. Their opponents are making their first appearance. So in the background there, first of all, is Li Wenmei, 22 years of age, 177, that's 5 foot 10. And she was born in Hubei province. They're currently number 15 on the world ranking, but they have been as high as nine. In fact, a total of seven weeks at number nine. Chen Yu is 25 years of age and 175, that's five foot nine. And she recently won the Denmark Open playing with Wang Dongping, who is the Olympic mixed doubles champion. So, as far as they're concerned, well, in their first round they had a bye and then they played against the Ansa sisters from Thailand. So that was comfortable, as you can see, just 44 minutes for that one. Looking at their opponents, well, the right-hander is Rin Iwanaga and she was born in Yanai in Yamaguchi Prefecture. 34 on the world ranking, that's the highest they've ever been. It means that they are the fifth ranked pair from Japan on the world ranking currently. And the left-hander, Kia Nakanishi, the left-hander will turn 26 later this month, 24th of December to be precise. They have been in two finals uh, this year. As we look at their results, well, they beat a pair from the Russian Federation in the first round. And second round uh, was the Olympic champions, Gracia Poli and Apriani Rahim from Indonesia. Two, twice World Championship bronze medalists. But sadly, the number five seeds from Indonesia not able to make the trip here to Welva. None of the Indonesian team have come here. It is only independent players from Indonesia who are participating. Cornelia Schroeder of Germany is our umpire Jakob Sinberg from Denmark, the service judge. And I was telling you the Japanese pair have been in two finals this year, 2021. They won the Belgium International Challenger event 
And then we're beaten in the final of the 500 level event in Saarbrücken. I lost out to Hoshi and Matsuda in that final, yeah, despite being man. up in both games, oh, lost in two straight. bow from the Japanese players, a mark of respect to all the court officials. And this last 16 encounter gets underway. of the very first rally of the match. We've seen that several times this week, haven't we, Maud? We have. Here we go. Well, they've lost the challenge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. I think I had one in Service my mixed over. doubles just earlier. One lock. Between Germany Lake. and Malaysia. It was like one all in the first game yes. and we had the first challenge as well. That's oh, amazing, isn't it? You to keep them up your sleeve unless you're 100% certain. Two lock. Morton, the first thing I, I want Three, to ask you long. is about the future of this Chinese pair, Li Wenmei and Zheng Yu, because I was mentioning that Zheng Yu played with Wang Dongping at the Denmark Open and Li Wenmei played with Du Yue. Yes. So uh, is that, uh, do you think, something for the future? In which case, we've got to ask what's happened to Li Yun Hui, who yeah. used to play with Du Yue. I think it's a very, very good question. Um, I think only the coaches of China, they really know what, they, what they're up to. Uh, but I actually don't think that we will see uh, Huang Dongping in, in the women's doubles. I think she will keep focusing on her mixed doubles. And thereby, I don't think uh, there will be a, a big rotation in, in the other doubles. I actually think it will stay quite status quo. But who am I to say? Yeah, well, we've seen the Chinese players at so few tournaments this year. We, yes. We, you know, we're only getting little glimpses of perhaps what the Chinese coaching staff are thinking about. But I don't think this pair will actually continue. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's tough to say, but they are they're definitely trying to uh, you on with uh, many partners. I think she's played with many partners in the past. But maybe I'm wrong on that, but I, that's how I see it. That's how I remember it. And she was also the one that was chosen at the Uber Cup. Was that back in 2018? So over. I think she was the one chosen one, um, as five. a doubles reserve. Yeah, she also made an appearance at the Asian Games in 2018. And she played with Tang... Oh, I see. And but I think <laughs> that's good. I think they're thinking more along the lines of Li Wen Mei and who to pair her with as a stronger pair. She's the younger of the two players, only three years in it. But I think I just get the sense and I you know, I have no evidence to support my theory. We will have tea on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that there may be wanting to find Lee Win May another partner. Yeah, one of the issues and, and problems for Chen Yu is, is actually Seven, her serve, isn't one. it? At this forehand serve. The forehand serve, it, it is a concern. Well, 
you say that, but the I Olympic champion, <laughs> Gracie Apolli, has used the uh, forehand serve for a while. She's lost all confidence in her backhand so serve. Over. And she goes and wins an Olympic gold medal. Seven. Yeah. I know. Can't be too bad to use a forehand serve. No, but th the problem is that the forehand serve is a substitute for a very poor backhand serve. Yeah. And that forehand serve is not necessarily that good either. Mm. And, and Grace Apolli's forehand serve is actually quite bad as well. And uh, <laughs> so, so I'm, 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 I'm not really convinced yet. <laughs> and yesterday, Morton, you accused me of being harsh <laughs> and more direct. <laughs> yes. I had to beat you on it today. I had to beat you to it. Well taken by Iwanaga. Service over. Yeah, they combine really well. It's the uh, first time I see this Japanese player play, and uh, I think they combine really well. Good rotational skills, light footed, both of the players. Yeah, and of course the left-right combination is never bad. That's a lovely intersection. Nine, three. Yeah, I like her change of pace as well, Iwanaga. talk Three. about how important it is to play positive aggressive badminton when it comes to doubles and it's definitely here in this match the case I think that the aggressor is winning yeah and the Japanese pair is definitely forcing the two Chinese into defense most of the time and when the Chinese pair is having the chance of attacking it Things like this is happening, drop shots and mistakes on their attack and so on. Yeah. So, um, only fair that the Japanese is in front because I think they played by far the best. Yeah. Only seven minutes well, Japan has won three gold medals over the years since the first ever World Championships in Malmo in 1977. They won in 77. They won in 77. Do you remember who it was? Oh, yes, when you tell me. <laughs> Toganu and Bueno. Bueno, yes. And who did they beat in the final? Uh, Yorke van Lucifer and Marian Rida. You're absolutely right, and I hear that you've heard Seven, from uh, yes. Yorke van Lucifer. Yes, and she sends her love to all of us, Play. and she's actually in Phuket at the moment. Is uh, she a lucky lady? On holidays, so uh, she's sending all her, love, all her love to all of us here. Ah, that's very nice. I have written back and said thank you very much. <laughs> Good. Well, we wish her and her Four, family well. Eleven. Yes. Yeah, so there's the flip serve. That's exactly what you were talking about. That, you know, okay, you can put in a, a, a good flick serve. But it's the low serve is certainly never as effective as the backhand serve. Yeah. I think she was very, very quick on that return. 
because she knows that most likely a flick is coming. <laughs> Hunting, <laughs> again, yeah. Hunting girls. Every yeah. single thing on, on the front Four. of the court. They yeah, really I think work hard. You and Aga, I think she's the one that uh, wants to rush to the net out of the two Japanese players. Good lengths on that push. 14 4. Well, Morton, I was listening to you calling the last match with uh, Kadambi Shrikant. Yes. And I heard you say that you never expected it to be as easy as it turned out to be. Quite frankly, 14 4, I didn't expect this in the women's doubles. No, I, I knew you would say that because I totally agree. I, I was just about saying it uh, two minutes yeah. ago. But, yeah. Uh, I, I totally agree with you. I never saw this coming. You see, I wonder whether the Chinese pair have actually already been split, but because the qualification for the World Championships, we've just, uh, uh, well, in fact, on the adjoining court now, yes. is a men's doubles pair that split. The Malaysians go for Shen and Tan Yikyo, but because they've qualified for the World Championships, they're back together again they're for this one again. event. Yes. And I wonder if it's not a similar scenario with this Chinese pair. It's definitely very, very difficult to play as a partnership if you know that you're not going to play for the future. Yeah. Which is presumably why the mixed doubles pair from Malaysia, Chan Peng Sun and Go Yu Ying, didn't come here. I think, yes, I think you're right, that's partly it, but I actually also think that Chan Peng Sun is a little bit injured uh, his um, right elbow yeah it's not a uh, hundred percent so I, I think they simply skipped it due to that as well okay because well, i was uh, very confused when i was reading in the newspapers one day that he announced his retirement champing soon and then it, it was 24 or 48 hours later that he it, it was all in the newspapers that he was going to rejoin BAM. Yes, he's back in BAM and is going to play with uh, Valerie Xiao. And it's going to be interesting to see him with a new young partner. Well, this has got to be the longest rally of the match. Good defence. Oh, yeah. Good play. Good yeah. Play. They had to work hard for that point, didn't they? Chinese pair. 65 shots. Yeah, if it takes 65 shots every time they're going to win a rally, mm. it's going to be tough. <laughs> it will be tough. <laughs> Sarah. So it's over. From uh, Six in May. seven. Oh, that's a brilliant put away. From Nakanishi. Seventeen, seven. Yeah, very steep into the tram lines. Surely too late Eight, to 70. rescue this opening game for the Chinese pair. I would tend to say yes. 
but I'm so scared of saying yes now. <laughs> so I was like, oh, maybe. <laughs> All coming back to the other day. Service yeah. over. On an 1810. 18. Oh, so surely. <laughs> yeah. This is over, at least for this game. Yeah. But it wasn't. It wasn't. No. That's one of the few Service occasions over. that Cheng Yu Nine. has Empty. actually really got involved at the front of the court. And that's another thing I've noticed is that Cheng Yu normally celebrates quite a lot, doesn't she? Mm. When she's playing. We haven't heard a thing from her. No. So, you know, it's all boiling down to our little suspicion that maybe this partnership is not yeah. a partnership for the future. Yeah, well taken. I don't know if you remember Service in over. Denmark when uh, Cheng Yu was 19, playing with nine. Wang Dongping. I can't remember what match it was, but they were obviously ve looked very fed up to be on court and their coach came on after the first game and I believe uh, told them in no uncertain terms they <laughs> yes. had to buck their ideas up. Yes, and get going. And they ended up w winning the whole tournament. Yes, they did. Yeah. So it's over. I think it's the same coach here. I can't really see at the moment, but I believe it's Tao Jiaoming on the coach's bench. But I, I really I respect when coaches are, are, are saying it straight out. Mm. And, you know, there's always ways of saying it, but that yeah. message is clear. Yeah. I, I really like that. 11-19. Yeah, we alluded to that a little bit the other day, didn't we? Yes. And you and I were both, both brought up on coaches saying things exactly as they were, but nowadays perhaps coaches have to be a little more careful. Yeah, but one need to have a working relationship with your players that can, you know, take and stomach some straight yes. talk. Yeah, absolutely. Good rally, yeah, it's good pace. Very, very good pace. Oh, oh what a beauty. Glorious. What a beauty. What a shot. 12, 19. Lovely touch and control here from Li Wen Mei. Look at that. Amazing. Even got the neck cord with it. Super shot. Yes, it is Tao Charming. That confirms it. Play. Chinese coach. Oh. Flick serve is long. Yeah. Is Not only long, it was a very long. 20. Yeah. I'll buy a mile. 12. So, game point opportunities for Iwanaga and Nakanishi. Yeah. Okay. And it's good anticipation of the third shot from Nakanishi. First game won and by a very deserved opening game. Here, Nakanishi, 21-12. 21-12 confirms the umpire for the opening game. Just about 18 minutes for game number one. ファウルは出たアタックです。上手に使って、下手に逃げるのは多分スピードが上がってくるかもしれないけど、心を準備するような、特に前優のサーブをほとんどしようとできないから、ね、前は過去だけで、あとは自由に使う。ただ、スマッ
20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Well, interesting that once again, Talon Jaming, Chinese women's doubles coach, using all of his allotted time, and there was a lot of talk there. And notice they've Second both got game. strapping on their shoulders. Yes. Level. Play. But I think uh, that hasn't really aged entered into the equation yet. I think Iwanaga and Nakanishi have just been too dominant in virtually all departments, certainly around the front court area. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think we haven't really seen it yet. Um, the Chinese pair has not really put the pressure on. But we always see Japanese women's doubles as extremely strong in their defence. I just somehow suspect that maybe this partnership is not that solid yet when it comes to defense it's just something on a few occasions in the first game where i thought oh that was a weak reply i had expected a better reply so i suspect that they are not as strong in their defense as some of the other japanese pairs but we will see we will see but I would also point out that they have played very, very few major international tournaments. Saarbrücken and then Indonesia mm -hmm. and uh, the two events in Indonesia yes. are the only 500 and above, and above tournaments they've ever played. Two, so only no. three and those have been very recently. So yeah. I think their experience at this level and, uh, you know, getting used to the need for defensive play quality they haven't been exposed to that yet no, um, i'm sure it's coming because they have de definitely the technical ability to do so yeah so i i have no doubt about that i just think right now yeah they're po possibly a little bit weak when it comes to defense Well, not only is it a better start by the Chinese pair, more, but the uh, uh, the reaction after rallies. <laughs> yes, it's better. You, are you suspecting the same thing I'm suspecting yes, you know, about I coaching am. break? Yes, hmm. I am definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, please get moving. Yeah. <laughs> Words to that effect. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's just putting it very nicely. Just long. No. Japanese had a five love start to five the opening game. Love. Now it's a five love start in the second game to the Chinese combination. from Jin Yu. It was very nicely controlled.
it's completely turned around, isn't it? It is, and it was just going through my mind. You know, to start with, we couldn't really notice the drift on the first day of play last Sunday. Yes. We've noticed the drift more and more. Uh, we know uh, and believe that it's more difficult hitting f for doubles players to get the shuttle down, hitting from the far side of yes. the court. And it was just going through my mind. Maybe it, that's it. Is, is that making such a difference so in this over. particular match? One seven. Perhaps. Oops. Perhaps. We will be a lot more wiser when we go to the third game, and if if it's the same pattern, yeah, that the one standing on on this near side of the court is winning, should it go to three, then I think you're right. She's flicking virtually all the time, isn't she? Is. She is. You see, they're just not getting the it down in the same way as nope. they did in the opening game. See, it's difficult to tell how much the, the Japanese uh, pair are losing power because they're hitting against the drift and how much the Chinese pair it's gaining. Is, is just, uh, you know, uh, finding the rhythm and, and so on more with their defensive Nine, play. Two. think the Japanese pair should do now from that that far end because all is not lost yet it's only six points yes I mean it seems a, a big lead nine three but it is only six points you can you can close that down tactically should they be trying to do something different I would try to isolate um, Cheng Yu a bit I think Li Wenmei is playing uh, better off the two today and I'll try to single out Ching Yu a bit more. Here, um, here. Wait until she sees it, right? In terms of attacking her, moving her on the back of the court, stuff like that. Three, really, nine. whenever you have the chance, try to, you know, let uh, Cheng Yu be the one that's going to play for, for China. And I think they could benefit from that. Yeah. Um, then, as I very often say, uh, be more aggressive on the return of surf. They know that Sheng Yu is nine. flicking every single time. So try to punish her a bit more on that and maybe take half a step back and, yeah. and, and see whether you can be more aggressive on that smash you're going to play. Stuff like that.
and you can't afford that. But we also talked about a little side right, uh, way drift as well, didn't we? From yes. right to left, so yeah. that would make sense on this shot as well. Oh, that's a beauty. It what is. a super shot from Iwanaga. I was just over. going to say that Five, if it was me as well, I would advocate my two players, if I was the coach of the two Japanese players, to when they're lifting, they're lifting quite high. And it's a normal lift defense situation. I would try to lift a more flat lift to tempt your opponent to attack you but be ready to counter attack it because in that mm, way yeah. you can upset the formation a lot more this this is in my book a little bit too straightforward yeah um i would like to see okay we're ready but we are lifting in such a way that we move them very fast and should they decide to attack we will go in and counter attack it mm, interesting Sometimes you have to give away the initiative to take it back. Yeah. But you have to do it in a clever way by tempting your opponent. But as you rightly say, it's just four points in it. It's definitely possible and they can get another two perhaps before they make game interval but they couldn't no so it's a five point Eleven advantage at the mid game interval. interval and the five point advantage is with this pair Ewen May and Sheng Yu are number 10 in the seeds in China <laughs> Using all his time again, in fact, the umpire has asked him to leave. Uh, same has happened with the Japanese coach. They obviously realise that this is going to develop into a huge battle. Which is actually what we expected from the start of from the From the beginning, yes. 11-6. Late. drop shot now she Seven was over. more alert to that Seven, she was. definitely and that's what I mean that's that's an area where you really can add on a lot of pressure good serve Better. Look who the attack was on. Yeah. On Cheng Yu initially. Got yes. the weak reply. Yes. Now, that's one of the few times we've seen an interception from the front of the courts in this second game from the Japanese pair. That's what they were doing so well in the opening game.
Yeah, good work from the front of the court from Cheng Yu. seen on a few occasions Nakanishi was uh, making a mistake here when the sort of when there's a variation in the attack on her some in sort of deep into the feet some chest height and all that flat exchanges or if it keeps changing she's not really so very good adapted to it and she Nine, is making mistakes and that's the left hand of the two Japanese players so if opponents are switching it from side to side. Side to side or high and low and stuff yeah. like that. She struggles. She struggles a bit in her defence. the angle of that smash. Yes. 14, 9. From Sheng Yu. Yeah, the first one was kind of chest height and then the next one yeah. into the feet. up a six point cushion that was good placement of the first smash from Sheng Yu that you were talking about. Yes. I think my eye spotted it correctly. Court drive, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, Nakanishi was storming forward, trying to look for a drop shot, and never came. <laughs> yeah. And that was the opportunity to intercept.
I think the gap is too big. I think it's too decisive. And I thought we've we've sort of uh, uh, joked about the fact in the men's doubles we yeah. saw a pair come back from 10 to 17. I think women's doubles style, where you have to work so hard for your points, I think it's much harder to come back from such a deficit. It's, if it's not neck and neck all the way, it's, yeah. it's tough to... It's very tough. I mean, look at this rally. slow by now. Yeah. Feathers all ruffled up. I think we'll be past the hundred. Now yeah. wouldn't be surprised. I think we passed the 65 which was the longest rally so far. And and you see this is just proving my point. You know, to come back when you've got to play rallies like this, in men's doubles, we off, oh, that's long. It's long. It's gone yeah. along with the back line. You often see in, uh, yeah, she's taking in a few gulps of air, I think. <laughs> and they've asked to tell down. Men's doubles, you, we have some very short rallies, don't we? Yes. I mean, so much pressure on the service situation. Oh, we didn't make a ton. No, I'm so disappointed. Yeah. Eight more shots. Where was it? To, in Indonesia, it wasn't the World Tour Finals, it was the Indonesian Open. We had a men's doubles rally of 192 shots. 192 shots. Was it a men's doubles? It was a men's doubles. Gideon Sukumolio yeah. against uh, Astrup and Rasmussen. I'm doing this from memory. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. I, I always do it from memory. I, I, yeah, that hurt her. It did. That certainly helped Cheng Yu. And now it's very appropriate just to get the hair fixed and all that. It takes a little bit longer time, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, there was a match earlier where a player got yellow carded for that. Yes. That was Chai Yu Si. 12 Well, the Japanese pair may get a, a psychological lift from the fact that it was quite obvious that the Chinese opponents were really physically struggling after that last 13, rally. 17. And that's a very cheap point. In, the, in this context, yes. Yeah. Celebration from uh, 18, you and May. Had they lost that point as well? Yeah. Then I would have been saying <laughs> this is getting very interesting. <laughs> yes, surely. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot happen, can it? Uh, I can't see it happening no. here. But that's what you said the other day. Yes, I did. I did. That's why sport is compulsive viewing, because you just never know. Yeah. Especially so live sport, isn't 14, it? Yeah. 18. Nothing beats it. <laughs> Have you ever been watching something live on TV, but you and you're very interested in it? But somehow there's a small delay 
and you can get something a quicker result on on no on i won't do that I, I, I have refused <laughs> to do that because i love sport for the tension and not knowing yes <laughs> that destroys it you can't do that morton <laughs> Sometimes I can't help myself. <laughs> I need to know. No, 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 you can't do that. So, you've done it. I know you've done it, just like me. I haven't. Oh, okay. I've never done it. Okay. No. <laughs> it's just I this, want to enjoy the spectacle. Yeah, this little time delay and then say, oh, what is it now? No, no, no. I simply refuse. Oh, that's, that's a great shot. That's, good. that's a lovely shot, especially in this pressure situation. Says over. The margin was down to three 19, points. 15. Yeah, it's a super angle. Two points away from taking this second game. There's the counter attack you were exactly talking about. Exactly, that's what I want. Oh, that is way too loose. Uh, the attack on Cheng Yu again. So that's the desired effect. 16, This one is important, isn't it? This is huge, this rally. That's way wide, it was a good slash. Yeah, but so I liked over. the idea on the lift. That was the, the sort of the flat lift I was looking 16. for. But then you have to change position in your defence so you got your racket up and move forward, perhaps one step, and then step into it. Mm. But the Japanese player didn't do that. So four game point opportunities to level this third round match. Not one game apiece. Interception from Iwanaga. 17 20. Game all. 21 17, the second, second game, game in favour of the number 10 seeds. In general, 21 17, one game all. Umpire just confirming that scoreline. 21 17, the second game. And we're 50 minutes into the match and one game all.
很难说，往前扑啊，这么多球，老是有人碰碰碰，正好就能打死一球。摸一下，摸一下，碰一下，碰一下，那举拍又慢，人家过来以后，老老是慢慢的，那球很慢的球打呀，很慢打呀，太保守了，我觉得。这大胆打后场，估计有，也也不进攻，这一直在这里面打。你怕啥？怕啥？白你，越怕不了一会儿就不杀了。你这杀球弱点，杀球脚脚下移动的快呀，你调整啊。那就靠一个人也不行啊，你就是不打。然后一个七八九注意注意，然后卡住节奏，还有一个节奏，他这个两个节奏不一致，要调整。So the players back on a court for the start of this third and deciding game. Final game. Iwanaga and Nakanishi taking the opening game 21-12 and the number 10 seats Li Wenmei and Sheng Yu coming back to take the second 21-17. Well, certainly trying to be aggressive in that opening round. One lock. Jump with the Chinese pair. So, Morton, here's a fun fact for you. Let me hear. Chinese women's doubles pairs won 20 of the first 21 world championships that they participated in. Oh. Because they didn't participate in the first two, did they? No. 77 and 80. Yeah. And the only year they didn't win a gold medal in the women's doubles was not Korea. It was Korean pair, 1995 in Busan, Gilyong Ark and Jang Ayok. Yeah. It had, to, it had to be Korean pair. Yeah. But 20, the first 21 that they participated in. That's astonishing, isn't it? It is. Two, love. That must be their best discipline. It is. By far. Clearly. Yeah. Gosh, that was a good return of serve because it, it was an excellent service. Again, yep, <laughs> absolutely. I'll be shocked. The day is a low surf. Service over three, one. down as a missed opportunity by Iwanaga. Perhaps that was going wide on the sideline. 
Yeah, I yeah, thought the same thing. But do you notice, one, Morton, two. that the attacking play now from the Japanese pair has got so much more sting on it? I think that the ends is making a considerable difference. Yes, and I can tell you that on the adjacent court we have a men's doubles playing, and it's exactly the same scenario. Yeah, they they are winning on the on the fast end and losing on the slow end. Interesting that the Japanese Five, pair who two. didn't win the toss, but they got to choose ends. I just, I just checked it because I made a note of it. Yeah. And uh, so they want a good start. Obviously, their philosophy is we want a good start if it goes to three games. If they ever thought about it. Well, of course they'd think about it. Not all, sure. players. Not, <laughs> not all players are thinking about it. No, don't. Don't give me Get that. Surely. Get ready. What do they think about then? Winning. <laughs> yeah, but that's... Yeah, you know, you've got to look at the process, not the outcome. Good rally. That's come long. It was too flat from Nakanishi. Three, five. There's no doubt that the, the two Japanese, even Naka and Nakanishi, they are physically stronger than their opponents. They are not suffering in the same way as, as the Chinese players as soon as they have these long rallies. They are ready. Straight away, we're the two Chinese are taking their time. Just wide. Yep. That's nice. Oh, that's a wonderful play by Nakanishi. Service over. Six, five. Yeah, gone past her. Still managed to control it so well. Yes, it actually did.
to make the difference here. Morton. Do you I, think one player has got to take control of the front? I think uh, call on the pressure, um, playing a little bit more pressure shots, and I think China will win. I'll put my neck on the line. Gracious, that's a bold statement. It is. You know, we've been doing this for three months every single yes. day, so I thought, okay, let's do it. I somehow just sense that there will be a little bit more mistakes from the racket of uh, Ivanaka and Nakanishi. It'll be, and I think that especially Ivan May, I think she will be the most steady one of the four. Mm. I think she will make the difference. But, as I say, very bold statement yeah. at this time of the match. Did you notice this sign line judge indicated out there? Seven. Yes. It's nowhere near the side of the court. No. It was, was definitely long. Yeah. But, she I was mean, calling the, the back line by mistake. <laughs> Three straight points to go into the lead. Make it four. Yeah. Nine, seven. I just felt in the opening game the Japanese pair were prepared to take risks in rushing the net. And it paid dividends. And I haven't really seen that since the opening game. Uh, well, I, in, in fairness, I think the Chinese defence has got a lot better. Nine. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't argue with that. But I would still like to see one of these Japanese players hunting the shuttle ball at the front. We were doing very well, especially on the third shot in the opening game. delay the game. Now, that's what I want to see more of. Yes, I know. She's definitely on Cheng Yu. Yeah. And she is struggling physically. Yeah. Asking to towel down, and I think she's refused. Yeah. Good on party. This sport is supposed to be a physical test as well as a test of skill and tactical awareness. Couldn't agree with you more. And that's why we discuss this scoring system so often, mm. isn't it? Because we don't want to sort of leave either one of the three out of the equation. Ah. No, exactly. So it's over. Ten all. If you shorten the games too much, then it becomes less and less of a physical test.
So who's going to have the advantage? Oh, oh my God! Look at that surf. A big high surf. <laughs> So it is the seeded combination ten, ten. of Li Wen Mei and Chen Yu who have the one point advantage at the change of ends here in the deciding game. And what's extraordinary about that last rally, not only was it a big high serve, almost like a single serve, but obviously short enough to, for it to be landing in the doubles court, the service court. How was it that the Japanese didn't maintain the attack in that rally? Not enough placement on it. Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Yeah, that was a good follow up by Tim Yu. Well, takes more liquid on board, even though she's been pulled back to court. Well, all the tricks in the book to get a little bit extra more recovery time. Nobody would like any one of us to be the umpire. No. We can go follow the rules to the tee. Another one here. Oh, that is so short. Now, oh, brilliant. That's the counter attack you were talking about. Yes, I so the early stages. 11 all. I like to see that a lot, lot more. A similar situation Whoa. there. Similar chance. Didn't make it in the same way as partner did it in the previous one. Well, there's a challenge here. So we will know. 
we will know from the incident review system. Wow, you're right. Oh, I'm telling oh, you, you oh. are eagle-eyed. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah. 14, 12. Yep. Yeah. I need to have glasses like yours. <laughs> <laughs> intersection. It's so single out, thank you. Yeah, more positive, more adventurous 15, at the front 12. of the court. And at the moment, it's, it's paying off. It's certainly paying off. Element of risk. Mm. Four straight points. Yeah, this is, that's the principle 16, that you 12. tempt your opponent and that's what you do exactly on a flick serve. You tempt your opponent to go for the attack. If it's not good enough, that means the counter attack is coming in. Five straight points. Oh, there was a big gap there. Well. Missed on this occasion. 13, 16. And I think they should persevere with that more adventurous willingness to hunt the shuttle at the front of the court. Big high serve again. There's the intersection. This time by Iwanaga. 14, 16. <laughs> Attack from the left hand and Akanishi. The smash from Cheng Yu. Too much cross courts right onto the left hander's forehand side. perspective they've just got to keep the shuttle away from her because I think you're absolutely right Morton. If you if she's the key you want to try and keep her out of the game. That's 
the one point in it. Six, Who's six, got the nerve? Seven. There's the work to get the front court player involved. 18, 16. Yep, you're right, that was a big point. And it was the decisive move at the front of the court from this lady. Yes, I he agree. May I set up the rally. Just about pointing it out. But you're so right. But it, of course, doesn't help the course of the Chinese. Oh, I think we'll have a backhand serve here. Try Ooh, to have a look. Yes. Bad luck. That's bad luck, but it's actually Result quite clever. That's actually quite 70. clever. Well, the service error. Will I require on the right as we look at them, president of the BWF, the Badminton World Federation, enjoying this Play. women's doubles. Oh, that's a great smash from Cheng Yu. When it's over. 18, 90. Look at that perfect placement. Perfect. 80 minutes Thank into you. the match. 18-19 deciding point. game. points for the Japanese pair. That was a good smash. Ten Yu is really in trouble. Yeah, pressure on her. And it is indeed Set match over. point opportunities. 20, 
for Iwanaga and Nakanishi. The Chinese win this one, it means the Shen Yu have to surf 1920. Oh, they're challenging, it was called good. I think it's match over. I think that did land in. If all my jewel is saying that, then it is. <laughs> <laughs> we await, we await, it's caught the line, it's match over. And in Iwanaga and Kia Nakanishi have put out the number 10 seeds, Li Wen Mei and Cheng Yu. Three thrilling games, 21 18 in the deciding game. Nakas Nishi 21-12 17-21 21-18 Yeah, that was a close match, wasn't it? Absolutely fantastic Look at the joy for Iwanaga and Nakanishi Well, they had the courage to try and intercept at the front of the court I thought in the deciding game and they really did try and pressurise Cheng Yu and I think that made the difference. So confirmation of the score 21-12, 17-21, 21-18 in the deciding game in a match lasting an hour and 23 minutes. match and coming up next this should be a wonderful match as well it's men's singles it's the bronze medalist from the last world championships one chalong of thailand up against Lu Ken Yu of singapore who put out the number one seed the olympic champion uh, big tap axelson
So welcome back to Welva and day five of competition here at the Total Energy Speed WF World Championships 2021. The venue where it's all happening. Alasio de las Forest, Carolina Valley. Well, it's all third round action today across all five disciplines. 